there are many key moments for a player forging a life in tennis. For some, the journey to greatness begins early on. Family, for sure, at the beginning was the, the key fact that I started to play tennis. When Rafael uh, was young, he played always. He was young, but uh, he wanted to improve. My uncle, in particular, that was a coach of of the village, the club of on my village in Manacor, and I started there, going two times per week. And from the beginning, I I like it. I love the sport. From the beginning, the tennis was something special for me. Blessed with the raw talent from a young age, Spain's Rafa Nadal has come a long way since he first picked up a tennis racket. The three-time year-end world number one still remembers his very first Emirates ATP rankings points. I remember playing for the first point. I lost 13 match points and I finally lost the match, so I didn't win the point. <laughs> but uh, the next week I received a wild card to play uh, a challenger in, in Sevilla and I won a match, so I, I started there in the ATP, winning five points. <laughs> so that was the first time that I, I was inside the rankings. These days, Rafa is a genuine all-time great of the sport. Each milestone is still treasured, though. First, achieving the status of world number one ranks as high as any other. I was there in the number two for a long time. You know, having always Roger in front, that he was playing amazing during uh, all this period of time. And uh, even if I had the great seasons, I didn't have the chance to improve his ones. So then was in 2008 when I had the, the, that chance to be to be the number one for the first time. I played top seasons in my career in that year, and finally I did. Rafa has always been a pretty humble guy, you know, and, and not one to really talk up his chances. With that humility, these wins just really, you know, stand out even more. Having returned to the top of the Emirates ATP rankings after a remarkable comeback from injury last year, Nadal is playing as well as ever. One of the keys to his game over the years has been one very special shot. Oh, yes! My favorite shot is the passing shot. And I think the key is to try to make the, the decision quick because then the, you have uh, the opponent in front in the net and, you know, trying to cover the, the, the court. And normally I, I try to make the decision as quick as possible, try to visualize the shot and then hit. That's all. And then uh, the important thing is play the shot with, uh, with the right determination, in my opinion. For Rafael, uh, he's a specialist. I think he has a good technique. Many uh, people think that uh, Rafael has only uh, good uh, legs and a strong uh, mentality. But I think he has a very good technique too. As the 2014 BMP Paribas Open gets underway, it's no surprise it's the defending champion who boasts the record of most ATP World Tour Masters 1000 titles, 26 and counting. I really love these tournaments. I had a great success with my career in this, in this kind of tournaments. And it's great to have this, this category that the best players are playing. He's as passionate as ever about the sport he loves. Plenty more landmarks surely lie ahead for Rafael Nadal. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, it's crunch time in California. We have all the action from the conclusion at Indian Wells. And a matchup for the ages. We look back at the rivalry that was Pete Sampras versus Andre Agassi. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24 7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter, now in English and Spanish. We'll see you next week. <laughs>